Um, I now invite uh, Professor Charles Walker, um, who is the head of the um, uh, Peretau School of Future Environments. Um, the school promotes transformative social technical education and research across architecture, engineering, construction, uh, regenerative ecologies, and creative technologies. Uh, and I'm looking for some new bio. Okay. Um, <laughs> Charles sees the School of Future Environments as a kind of creative thinking machine that allows us to operate simultaneously at local and global scales to address the complex existential challenges of our time. And I think in, in our, in, uh, in our um, community as well, we're, we're sort of mindful of that uh, local to global scale of, of how we operate on um, open source and open mapping and, and data generally. Um, welcome, Professor Walker. Thanks, Hamish. Morena Tato. Nomai Harimai. Welcome to AUT and welcome to the School of Future Environments. We're um, incredibly um, happy, proud, delighted to host you this morning. Um, I, I think that perhaps it's not an obvious fit, um, but I think perhaps as I talk a little bit more about what the ambitions for the school are, you might be able to see why we are really interested in, in hosting this event and meeting you people today. Um, as Amy said, my name is Charles Walker. Um, I'm uh, a professor here at AUT and head of Huri Ta'al School of Future Environments. Huri Ta'al is a bit of um, bad Tereo, really, it's a, it's a play on words that was gifted to us. Hirutao means something like turn the world, change the world. And it was a kind of play on the old AUT tagline, which is we are the university for the changing world. And so instead of just kind of accepting that the world is changing around us, we have decided to actively try and turn it or change it in some way. It's corny, I know, but it kind of makes sense. Um, um, we are the newest school at AUT. We, we were established in 20, March 2020, the fateful uh, March 2020, just in time to go into lockdown. Great start. But we already have a uh, over 1,000 students. And the ABC of the school is really we have these programs in architecture, building environment engineering, and creative technologies. Now, I think what, what's it interesting? <laughs> I think it's interesting because it's my idea, um, was not to call it a school of architecture or a school of engineering or whatever. The school is a school of future environments, so it's, it's not named after a kind of discipline, which is a kind of slightly 18th, 19th century European term anyway. Um, it's just based on an idea, an aspiration, the idea that we need to think about the future, we need to think about how we are going to kind of move forward um, and the, the disciplines, architecture, engineering, and creative technologies, are really disciplines that have a very, very long history, but are um, at a turning point, I think, and that we can't keep on doing what we've been doing for the last couple hundred years. So how do we move forward? So architecture, we're really trying to do something a little bit different from the architecture schools in, in Australasia, um, really focusing on a kind of regenerative ecological strategy. Um, looking at strategic design leadership rather than just designing houses for rich people. Um, built environment engineering, we're really trying to look at kind of ecological infrastructures and how we might move beyond just designing more concrete roads and bridges and, and how do we kind of move forward. Creative Technologies is a, is a, a slightly unusual program. I, uh, I, I established it back in 2008, AUT, and the idea is really that the program is, is really led by student interests and the, the curriculum is flexible enough to engage with things that emerge. So it's really focused on emerging technologies. We, um, we are probably, I think we were probably the first part of the school that engaged with free and open source software back in, in around 2010. Um, and we were extensively involved with the GLAM sector and looking at how, how that might kind of roll out there. Um, we don't do so much of that anymore the, the, because it's decided by student interests. Student interests are very kind of fashionable and cyclical, and so things come in and out. Um, you know, whether it's gaming or wearable technologies or open source, whatever, will we'll kind of evolve over time. But um, we think that bringing this notion of creativity and technology to existing disciplines and to this, the university more generally is, is an interesting place to be. Um, we like to be agile and kind of uh, open. And the key question really in bringing the school together was, you know, how might we live together differently in the changing world? And how do we do that? Obviously, we are focused on kind of environmental, built environment issues. But um, moving forward, um, I guess one thing I'm kind of interested in is 
just perhaps inviting anyone in the audience who is interested in any of these things. Um, we're really looking to develop a kind of an approach to open source urbanism and how, how these tools might inform both existing disciplines and create new ones. Um, so we're interested obviously in kind of urban analytics, governance strategy, um, data civic citizen participation in decision making um, and how that relates to community development. Um, open infrastructures, you know, we, we've got some projects now on digital twins um, and uh, the importance of Mataranga Māori indigenous knowledge uh, in developing these new technologies. How, how, to, how do we embed that knowledge in these emerging technologies? Uh, Recognising that the kind of traditional kind of European Enlightenment way of seeing, seeing the world and seeing science is, is, is being revealed to be at least inadequate in, in many ways. So, um, yeah, anyone who's interested in, I suppose, any kind of open source applications in relation to how we live together in our cities, particularly Auckland, but we also, we, we have students from everywhere in, in the world, um, you know, just um, get in touch, you know, say hi somewhere during the day, and uh, we can perhaps figure out something that we might, we might um, do together to our mutual benefit and interest. We, we have um, a, a lot of, we have 40 researchers, plus I think we have 80 PhD students in the school who are all looking for interesting things to do. Um, so if you have an interesting project that you think would benefit from some applied research, particularly in this environmental space, uh, do get in touch. Um, all right, I'm away, I just, I can talk for hours, I'm gonna stop now. Um, but really the thing that we, uh, another thing I guess that we have in common with the, the, the uh, FOSS community is this idea that uh, it's really not built on kind of just individual endeavor, it's really built around communities of practice. And so this is the other kind of motto, the borrowed motto for our school, is that we are in this worker together. And um, the way that we kind of work together will determine how we move forward in the future. So. Um, once again, welcome to AUT. I hope you enjoy the next few days. Um, I'm really looking forward to kind of dipping in and out and seeing what's happening. But um, yes, and um, thank you for choosing to be here with us today. Thank you.